It's time to talk about a feature I've mentioned several times. Many times here this course I've said, let me give you a hint. The answer is message recognition. Well, now it's time to talk about message recognition. So while recording tests and while using PeopleSoft, sometimes messages pop up. For example, when we saved the integration broker node, a message popped up that said, well, node saved. We clicked the OK button. But what about PTF? What should it do? Well, it should click the OK button too. But how does PTF recognize that message and how does it know what action to take? Oh, here's a really common message. Actually, I don't know the verbiage, but it's something about uh, this row will be deleted when you save. You know, we actually saw that when we were appending to the role. We were doing our little cleanup step afterwards. We deleted a row and then we saw a message that said the row would be deleted when we pressed save. You know, without message recognition, PTF would actually fail at that point. Through the message recognition feature, PTF recognizes the message that appears and then takes the action we define. Often PTF will record the message recognition and the action based on our choices while recording. For example, this may or may not have happened for you, which is why I mentioned it as a hint when we did the append to data cleanup step at the end of our role-based delete the PTF user role. When I clicked the OK button on the message that popped up saying that the row would be deleted at save time, PTF recorded that. Likewise, when I edited the node, I clicked the OK button after pressing save. PTF recorded that. Here, let me show you. I happen to have the node fix test open here, and here's the message recognition. It looks like a little scroll, and when I click there, I see that it recorded a message. So see the checkbox here, use message recognition. This is critical. I can't tell you how many times I've come in here to message recognition to write in something from the message. This is how message recognition works. See a message pops up. Oftentimes I'll copy a little fragment out of that. And that's how PTF recognizes the message. It's based on the text in the message. Now it can do a partial match as we see here. You know, if you look at any message that pops up on the screen, oftentimes at the very end of the message, you'll find the message catalog set in an entry. Now, as a user looking at that, I'm thinking, I don't even know what that means. It doesn't make any sense. But as a developer, of course, that helps me because I know I can find that in the message catalog. Well, it also helps with PTF. You see, because those messages with the text that appears on the screen before the parentheses, those can be parameterized. They can include replaceable variables. So they, the, the message itself can actually be variable based on the data. Well, you can't test for that in PTF because you don't really know what it is. Also, those messages can be translated. Well, that can be a problem as well. You know what doesn't translate? You know what doesn't have variables? That part in parentheses. All right, so that's something that you and I can match on with PTF. Love it for those reasons. Anyway, what we have here is a partial message. Usually it's a partial, it doesn't have to be the whole thing. And then what button do you want to press? You know, when those messages pop up, there's several different buttons. Which one do you want to press? And then what action? Should we abort, should we check, or should we continue? Well, in our case, since PTF properly recognized the message as I was recording, it recorded the fragment, it said, oh, he clicked the OK button, and he wanted to continue. Now, this little green checkbox here, that means me message recognition is enabled. As you can see, when it's disabled, the green check mark goes away. So that's how you're going to know. Does this test use message recognition? Well, it's going to be based on the checkbox. Oh, interesting thing. That checkbox can be checked with no message recognition. What does that mean? Well, it's in advance telling PTF, hey, we want to use message recognition, but, oh, but we don't have any configured. So it's actually not going to do anything. Now. If PTF encounters a message, one of those pop-ups, and it doesn't know it's coming, then it will fail the test. This is one of the things. This is why you want to make sure you capture any of those. You know, let's take, for example, if we want to copy a user ID, copy a user profile. We actually have a test that does that, don't we? And let's say that you check the box to copy ID type information. Well, now you're going to have two OPER IDs with the same EMPL ID. Okay, now what happens if you say, for example, make more changes to that OPER ID after cloning, like you unlock the OPER ID? Well, you press save, an error message is going to pop up that says that the EMPL ID is assigned to multiple OPER IDs. Mm. 
you know what? The test is successful. It saved the transaction. There's no issue. But PTF would fail at that point because it doesn't recognize the message. And that's where we have to make sure we account for message recognition. And now I want to give you some time to review your activity guide. And when you're ready to move on, I'll see you in the next lesson.